Hey there everybody, I'm Chris at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing. Today is Saturday, August 28th, 2021. And we're at the shop. Got a shop full of people here working. And uh, running the laser. And uh, today's video is gonna be about uh, um, the improvements on the 28 Pro model. And to answer some of the, some of the kind of frequently asked questions here. I want to show you something here in the background. So first off, got the laser running, cutting parts, cutting some mainframe parts here for the high output models, and then new log lift parts. You can see we've got a giant stack of those, a couple of stacks of those, and um, That'll answer some of the, one of the questions anyways. We, uh, the new log lifts are a hit and um, those have been in production now for a while. Uh, needed to make a video on that, but uh, cutting all kinds of those parts. We've got about 60 of them ready to form. See the guys back here in Weld kicking butt here on the weekend shift. Got Peter, he's working on some skid steer splitters. Kale, he's over there working on sorting tables. Keith is working on mainframes and high output final assembly. And then uh, once Josh gets done fiddling around with our shop truck, he'll be fitting some beams up. And uh, David, he's working on uh, conveyors. David will be back Monday working on conveyors. Let's take a look, walk out back here. We've got a whole bunch of machines ready to go. A few customer pickups here. And um, we've got a, a 28 Pro ready to go with that new log lift on it. So this 28 Pro, this is our, our base model machine. This is our smallest machine. This comes standard with uh, the hydraulic four-way wedge. Your folding log lift, the new style log lift there. And um, this one here, we don't offer the auto cycle valve. It's, this is basically, this is uh, all of it right here. Not a whole lot of options on it, but it's a great, great machine for home use and light commercial use has about a, a ten and a half second cycle time with the new pump on it right now we're still waiting on concentric to get us a uh, 16 gallon pumps for this model but uh, these uh, dynamic pumps that we've been running they're pretty good I think the concentric pumps gonna be a little bit better and uh, we should have those coming up next week, I believe. Um, those concentric pumps have been on order for six months. So just to kind of give you an idea of what kind of supply chain issues we've been seeing. Um, we're constantly running out of tires, uh, pumps for six months. Uh, the new Galtech auto cycle valves that are available on the, the bigger machines those were a six month lead time and the handles for the Galtex, believe it or not, a $3 part is, uh, we've, we've got 30 coming next week, but the rest of them won't be here until the end of December. A $3 part, it's a rod with thread on one end and a rubber handle on the other end. Six month lead time. So just so you know kind of what, why does it take so long to get a machine? Well, A, it's, you know, the number of machines we have to build. And then B, you know, all these supply chain issues kind of slogging everything down, slowing everything down. So, but anyhow, enough of my babbling. This is the 28 Pro. We've got a 15 gallon hydraulic tank, 12 inch rims, 
20 inch OD or 21 inch OD tires. Um, extendable tongue that's removable and uh, that tongue also can slide in the back end here where this foot pad is in the back. Now that foot pad you can flip down 90 degrees and that works great for, uh, for when you're set up splitting and also when you put it in a trailer you're going to haul it somewhere or in the back of the truck you want to haul it long distances. Um, you can flip that, uh, that foot pad down, crank up the jack on the other end and that locks it into place on the trailer really well. Um, and then of course this machine has a 9 horsepower Honda GX270. We are very dedicated to Honda. We don't plan on switching brands anytime soon. In fact, you know, the way I look at it is you order a machine for me, it's specced out with a Honda, that's what you're going to get. It might take a little longer to get certain models, engines from time to time with everything that's going on. But when we build it, we're not going to cut corners and say, hey, oh, well, we switched to Kohler or we switched to Briggs. That's not what you ordered. That's not what you're going to get. You're going to get a Honda and uh, a genuine, true GX Honda, not a, you know, off brand or a clone or we're not going down to Harbor Freight to pick up uh, a Predator engine. So um, other than that, I think that's about it. Of course, that log lift does open up and it swivels out of out of the way and of course we uh, put this bolt in here and a big washer behind it so that we can tighten that up and have just a little bit of tension on there so it doesn't doesn't flip unintentionally let me pull this pin pull this pin here open it up for you so there it is opened up and I'll, I'll just run it down here. There it is when it's down flat, ready to load logs on it. So of course that will flip up. So if your foot's underneath it or piece of woods underneath it that'll flip up out of the way flip it up throw the pin back in right back here need some hair on that hole anyways <laughs> anyways guys that's the 28 pro great heavy duty machine Probably one of the best home built or homeowner use design machines on the market. Um, it's not the cheapest by any means, but it's made here in the States using high quality components, Gates hoses, Prince valves, Honda engines. Um, we sandblast and uh, powder coat the whole works. And yeah, for, for the money, I don't think you're gonna find one that's gonna last any, you know, last any better um, we have replaceable slides on the push block those will need to be changed every once in a while but other than that it's basically changing the engine oil and you know using ethanol free gas that's gonna last you last you forever so that's it for today thanks so much for watching guys if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments all right take care